Hello, guys. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How do you good evening, feel teacher. today? Good evening. So, how do you feel today? What about your weekend? How was it? Uh -huh. How was your weekend? What did you do? Uh -huh. In in my weekend, I got it. Okay, so do you go Ish. out? Yeah. All right. Where do you go? Ish. I go that. I Ish. went. I went to the beach. Beach. Okay, that's cool. Okay, that's good. I think that you will really enjoy it, Mauricio. Yeah. All right, perfect. So let me see. Uh, what about you, Pablo? What do you do on your weekend? My weekend, relax. Okay, really? Very what relaxed. do you do? Do you go out? What? Do you go out? Okay, so what about you? Let me see. We also have Carla Sofia, Tatiana, Carlos Alberto Castro, Emerson Ulises, Karen Granados, and Norma Patricia. So let's see. Um, how was your weekend, George? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Well, um, I was tired because I I was in my work every every day on Saturday. Okay, really? And did you rest on the weekend? Um, Sunday? On, only yesterday, but a little bit. Okay, perfect. Thank you, George. Thank you. What about your weekend, Emerson? How was it? Uh, what do you do? Good evening, Miss. Good evening. It was, uh, very fine. And what did you do? In the weekend is very fun. Okay. Did you go out? No, really. I just stay at home. Okay. Perfect. What about you, Tatiana? How was your weekend? Hi, Miss. Hello. No, good, good evening. Good evening, Tatiana. I will rest a lot. Perfect. Okay, that is good. So you stay at home, I think. Right? Yes. Okay. And let me see, Karen, what about you? What did you do during your weekend? How was it? Good, so so relaxing. Hello, teacher. Hello, Karen. Um so so. Okay. Did you yeah. go out? What? Did you go out? Oh, I think that you didn't hear. Do you go out now? No. You stay at home. Hi. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, what about you, Carla? How was your weekend? Uh, bye -bye. My weekend had a very busy. <laughs> it was very busy. Because when I on Saturday I attended a uh, Bearing. Okay. And the uh, Sunday I went to the beach. Oh really? Okay, but you enjoy it. Yes. Okay. All right. Very funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, funny. I think. Yeah. Okay. That's the good part, right? And I think that that's the best part of all that you enjoy it, right? Yes. So perfect. All right. So welcome, guys. We are going to start with the second week of this actually module. Okay. Then I hope everybody um, has had a great weekend and that you actually did rest. Okay. So, well, um, we are going to start with today's agenda. And today's agenda, we have grammar, which is going to be unit two. 
So today we are going to start unit two, and actually this talks about procedures in a restaurant, okay? So we are going to continue with the information about restaurants and we are going to study different things. We also have a speaking time, we have a reading time, and we have a game at the end of the, of the class, but we also have listening quizzes, okay? So that's basically what we are going to cover today. And we are going to start by talking about vocabulary, yeah? So let's see. Uh, what we need to do is that we need to match the words with the pictures, okay? So let's see. What do you think is number one? What do you think is number, number one according to the picture? Mm -hmm. Veggies. Veggies. Excellent. So those are veggies, okay? So the pronunciation is going to be veggies, okay? So this one is informal, which is the formal way to say veggies? Vegetables. Vegetables. Vegetables, perfect. What about number two? Picture number two. What do you think that is? Uh -huh. Sweet potatoes. Yes, that is correct. So this one is sweet potatoes, okay? What about picture number three? Uh -huh. What do you think this is? Picture three. Mm -hmm. Any idea? That is odd. Yes. So picture number three is going to be oats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what is the meaning of oats? Avena. Right. Mm -hmm. What about picture number four? Nuts. Yes. So those are nuts, right? So those are nuts. What about number five? How do we call this type of uh, bread that actually we use to um, to make hamburgers? Uh -huh. What is the name of this type of bread? Buns. Yes. Okay. This actually is buns, all right? What about this one? No. Yes, so this one is going to be flour, okay? Flour, yes. And what about number seven? Green beans. beans. Do you like green beans? Green beans? Do you like yeah. green beans? Yes, you do? Oh, yes. yeah, those are delicious, right? Yes, they are delicious. <laughs> and the last one, yes, guys. And the last one is actually insects, okay? Yeah. Yes, all right. So once again, pronunciation, okay? This one is veggies, yeah? Veggies. Sweet potatoes, nuts, nuts buns, flour, green beans, and this one is actually insects, right? Hmm. Very good. So let's continue, all right? This is part of vocabulary. Then we also have cooking verbs, yeah? So those are the verbs that we use whenever we are cooking. So today we have a big list, okay? So we are going to start with this one. So this one is actually drain. Yeah, this one is drain. What is drain in Spanish? What is it? Drenar. Okay, yes. But in this case, uh, it could be drenar and it can also be escurrir, right? What about this one? Whisk. What is the meaning of whisk? Mm -hmm. yep. 
batir. Very good. And what about a squeeze? What is it? Estrujar. Yes, it could be estrujar and also, uh, it could be also exprimir. Okay, exprimir. What about number four, which is mash? Mezclar. No. Mash. Look at that. Mezclar. Triturar. Very good. So it is like triturar. What about boil? Hervir. Hervir, right? And what about number six, which is great? What is it? Rayar. Oh. Rayar. Mm -hmm. So great is rayar, guys. Mm -hmm. We grate the cheese, right? Mm -hmm. And what about number seven? What is a spread? Esparcir. Esparcir or untar, okay? Yes, spread butter, right? In the bread. Uh -huh. What about number eight? A stir. What is stir? Remover. Mezclar o, yes, remover. Very good, right? So drain, whisk, squeeze, yes. mash, soil, break, spread, and yes. stir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let me ask you something, guys. What do we drain? Give me one example. What do we drain? When we are cooking? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Very good. What do we whisk? Eggs. Oh, yeah. Eggs. Very good. Eggs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what do we squeeze? Air. Um, I think that you said air, but no, Tatiana. Right. Um, grapes, okay. What else? What do we squeeze? Orange. Oranges, right? Mm -hmm. Oranges. Very good. And what do we mash? Potatoes. Potatoes. Very good. And what do we boil? Water. 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 Excellent. And what do we grate? Cheese. Cheese, right? Uh -huh. Cheese is the most common. And what about what do we spread? Mm -hmm. Sauce. Sauce. What else? Butter. Butter. Yes. And what do we stir? Coffee. Coffee. Very good. Excellent. So now we also have number nine, which is roast. Yeah. We also have carve. Yeah. We have chop. We also have break. We also have mix, knead, flatten, and a sprinkle. Yeah. So let's see. What is the meaning of roast? What is it? Asar. Yes, and that one also is asar. Okay, asar. Yeah. And what about carve? What is carve? Yeah. Rebanar. Correct. It is rebanar. Yes. And what about chop? Cortar. Cortar, but it can also uh, mean um, uh, picar, okay, picar. What about number 12, break? Quebrar. Quebrar, yes, or romper. Well, mix, you know what that is, 
What about me? What is amasar. me? Yes, okay, that one is amasar. And what about flatten? Flatten. Flatten is uh -huh. aplanar. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. And a sprinkle? Espolvorear. Espolvorear. Yes, yeah, sprinkle, right? That's a beautiful word. Yeah. What about 17? Slice. Slice means cortar. cortar. Yes. Peel. Pelar. Pelar. Fry, freir. And pour. Pour. Verter. 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 Yes. Okay. Verter. Okay, so what do we peel? We peel potatoes. What else? Carrot, mango. Carrot, um, carrot, mangoes, many things, right? Naranja. Oranges. Orange. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. And what do we slice? Tomato. Tomatoes. What else? Onion. That kind of cheese. Onions, cheese, ham, a cucumber. Yeah, different things, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So let's move and let's continue with vocabulary. Okay. So let's see. I need uh, two volunteers. One is going to read all of those that we have. On the first, uh, this one lined, this one, and then the other one, those four. Okay, Jonathan, please, the first four uh, type of food. And let me see, um, Tatiana, okay? Those four, all of these. Okay, Jonathan. Okay, good. Uh, number one, apples. Number two, bananas. Number three, grapes. Number four, oranges. Okay. Uh, the second, uh, vegetable, uh, carrots, peppers, broccoli, and onions. Okay. Uh, for meat, uh, chicken, uh, lamb, sausages, beef, okay. and seafood, fish. Clams, shrimps, crab, and squid. Crimes, pasta, noodles, rice, bread, butter, milk, cheese, yogurt, corn oil, eh, coconut oil, olive oil, mm -hmm. candy, cake, Bye. Cookies. Perfect. Thank you. All right, guys. Let me see. Um, well, from here, I think that probably the, um, the ones that are kind of new for you, I'm pretty sure that you know most of them, right? I'm pretty sure. So let's see. Uh, shrimp, you know, that is a camarón, right? Shrimp. What about squid? What is a squid? Calamar. Calamar. Mm -hmm. Calamar. And crab? Cangrejo. Cangrejo. Yes. Okay, let me see. What is the meaning of uh, dairy products? This is the name for? Lácteos. Lácteos. Okay. Lácteos. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, what else? Uh, do you have any question about vocabulary? This is just for you to recall previous knowledge, right? About vocabulary. Do you have any question about this? About the sausage? No. Oh, sausage? Yes, mm -hmm. sausage means uh, salchicha or embutidos. Mm -hmm. Yes, sausage. What else? Lamb. Okay. Um, does someone know what is lamb? Ostras. Cordero. Mm. Oh, no, this one. Number 10. Lamb. 
Cordero. 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 That is correct, okay? Yeah, some people eat uh, lamb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, beef is also carne de res. Beef, okay? Beef, carne, carne de res. Um, well, I think that you know most of them, right? Let's continue. And now, let's see. Let's span our vocabulary. Okay, I need one volunteer to read uh, those expressions that we have right here. And this is when it comes to restaurants, okay? When you go to a restaurant, those are common expressions that you can use. So first of all, let's expand the vocabulary and how many foods can you create? Okay, let's combine foods, all right? So we have one example, orange juice, okay? Apple juice, mango juice. What about number two? We have tomato onion salad. What else can we actually combine? What type of salads? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chicken. Okay. Mm. Yes. Chicken salad. Okay. What else? What other type of salads do we have? Oil. Uh, olive oil. Okay, that's actually something that we add sometimes to the salad. What else? Uh -huh. Some types, uh, some title of salad that you actually know. Well, the most common one, eh, chicken salad, Caesar salad. Uh -huh. We can add carrot. Carrots, yes, that is correct. What mm. other type of pie do you know? We have apple pie. What else? When you go to restaurants? Pineapple pie. Okay, pineapple pie. That one is really common. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about grilled? We have grilled fish. What is the meaning of grilled? What is grilled? When we say grilled fish, we mean? Well, grilled means a la parrilla. Okay, so we have grilled fish. What else? Grilled chicken. Mm -hmm. Do we have grilled eggs? Okay, we have grilled beef, grilled meat, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, so number five, fried squid. What else can we fry? With shrimps. Okay, fry shrimps, fry chicken, fry um, beef, Potato. fry potatoes, uh -huh. different things, right? We also have potato soup, yeah? So what other type of soup do you know? There are many. Tomato soup. Tomato soup, mm -hmm. mushroom soup, chicken soup. Beef soup. Okay. Uh, there are many, many, right? Okay, so we also have expressions that we can use in the restaurant, right? So we have the first one, which is, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whenever you want to uh, call somebody's attention, so you can say, hey, excuse me, right? So then we also have, we're ready to order. We're, we're ready to order. Yeah, we are. This one is the uh, the construction for we are. We are ready to order. Yeah, and then we also have whenever uh, you don't have what you order. So I'm sorry, this isn't what I order. Yeah, sometimes that happens, right? Whenever you are uh, asking for the, the bill, all right, so you can say, hey, we'll take the check, please. It's the same as, say, as saying, can I have the bill, please? The same thing. 
okay? And then we also have, is the tip included? Do you remember what is the tip in a restaurant? Yeah, okay, very good. Mm -hmm. So, and then do you accept credit cards? Oh no, only cash, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you accept credit cards? All right, vocabulary guys, some expressions. Okay, now, yes, let me see. I'm going to mention some, uh, some students and please, you are going to help me out with some um, paragraphs, all right? Uh, Juan Jose, choose the chicken. Tatiana Yvonne, go light on the sauce. Uh, Maurice, Mauricio, fill up on veggies, all right? Uh, Jonathan, please go for the regular size. Emerson, skip the sides entirely. And Carla Sofia, finally, treat yourself. Okay, and the title, that means this, George. The title, just the title. Okay. Get smart, eating on the go. We know a daily diet of fast food can be bad for us but fast food is quick and easy and we when we're on the go it's sometimes a necessary choice so here are some tips for fast food fans right Flower the chicken oh have have chicken rather than red meat when uh when in doubt rather the grilled chicken not the fried not the fried not the fried okay right go light on the sauce mm -hmm. mayo salad dressing and other sauce are loaded with calories cut down on them or cut them out, out, out together. Okay. Uh, fill up on um, pages. Yes. Ask for tomato, lettuce, onion, or other veggies. <clears throat> Pardon. On your sandwich, this low calorie choice can help you avoid price and in other high calorie option. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, go for the regular size, not the extra large. Super size portion can super size you. Yes. Skip the size entirely. Eating a burger by itself is often a note. If you need a side or, or do something, consider a fruit cup or a side salad instead of those fatty, celery fresh fries. Most fast food restaurants offer the, those healthy option now. Okay. Finally, treat, your, treat yourself when you use have to have something sweet, uh, OPT for some delicious, low fat frozen yogurt or fruit ice, greater than ice cream or cookies. You won't miss the calories a bit. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, this is actually for you if you love to eat fast food, okay? So it says that one tip, is that you, you need to go for the regular size, not the extra large. Sometimes that is really common, right? That we actually order extra large. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. We also need to ask for veggies, right? Look at this, right? It says, ask for tomato, lettuce, onion, or other veggies on your sandwich, right? If you go to um, this place, uh, which is Subway, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Now it says go light on the sauce. Mayo, 
right? Salad dressings. What what is the meaning of salad uh, dressings? Those are los aderezos. aderezos. Correct. Uh -huh. Because sometimes we add a lot, right? It says that we need to uh, actually go down on that. So in this case, the pronunciation is cut down, right? And what is the meaning of cut down? What is it? What is cut down? If I say I need to cut down on soda, what do I mean? Uh, como reducir. Yes, so that is reduce, right? Decrease, mm -hmm. cut down, right? Very good. Um. Oh, what is the meaning of fatty? Uh -huh. Fatty? No? Grasa. Okay. Yes. Okay. Grasa. Okay. Something uh, that is grasoso. Okay. Grasa. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now let's understand from the context. Okay. So what we need to do is that we need to match the synonym. Okay. And the definition. Okay. So let's see. Number one, guys, it says veggies. What are veggies from A to F? Vegetal. Oh, pronunciation, vegetables. Vegetable. Excellent. Okay, what about side order? Do you know what is a side order? Uh, something you eat with your main course. Yes, okay. A side order, guys, is orden de acompañamiento, o sea, una porción de algo más, aparte de su plato. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what about number three? Go for. Mm -hmm. Go for. Sorry, Jonathan, what did you say? A choice, maybe? A choice? Um, not exactly. Okay. For example, if you go to a restaurant, guys, sometimes you say, I'll go for the chicken. I'll go for the salad. Choose. What are you making? Exactly. You are choosing, right? Mm -hmm. So that is the expression. I'll go for is like saying, mm, quiero esto, right? Okay, elijo esto, elijo lo otro. I'll go for. Mm -hmm. What about number four? Okay. Skip or avoid? B, not choice. <laughs> Correct. Letter B, right? So, skip or avoid is that you do not choose it, right? And what about number five? Portion. Letter A. Okay. Letter A. And what is letter A? Mm -hmm. the, amount. the amount you eat at one time. Excellent. And option. An option is? Choice. A choice. Oh. Correct. So you see? Very good. Those are synonyms, right? Or descriptions. Mm -hmm. So if I ask you, uh, can you give me a synonym uh, for avoid? Yes, skip or not choose. Can you give me a synonym for skip? Yes, avoid or not choose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, can you give me a synonym for option? Yes. An option is a choice. And for a portion, yes, a portion is the amount you eat at one time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see? So in that, um, you need to um, make sure you learn those synonyms, okay? For you to um, improve your vocabulary, yeah? 
let's move. Do you have any question about vocabulary or any question about uh, the information that you have right there? No? No. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, the only thing probably that I need to mention is this. Um, this is the abbreviation for mayonnaise. All right. So this one is not mayonnaise or mayo. It's going to be may. 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 Yes. Or the, the, uh, the complete word will be mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Yeah. Mayonnaise. May. Yeah. No mayonnaise. No mayonnaise. Right. Mm -hmm. This is for you to know um, that. Now, let's talk about how to make a maruchan soup, yeah? So which are the steps that we should follow? Okay, so first, we need to boil some water. After that, what do we do? Mm -hmm. We pour, yeah? Pour, what is the meaning of that verb? Cooking verb. Mm -hmm. Yes, verter. Pour, verter. Okay, you pour the hot water into a bowl where you have your maruch maruchan soup. And then what do yes. we do? We wait for how long? Mm, sometimes, right? Three um, to five minutes, five minutes, right? Yes. And then what else? We can add chop in add hard boiled eggs. We can add different things, right? Different things because okay. everybody actually, I think that it's this type of food differently, right? And at the end, we add lemon and we enjoy it. Yeah, those are the steps that sometimes we follow. Probably you add more things, right? Sometimes people add avocado, right? People add probably add those, um, snacks that are called i don't remember the name takis right those type of things uh -huh. you add those and of course it's actually um uh, your choice right so now what we're going to do is the following with the vocabulary that we have uh, learned what we are going to do is that we are going to create the following okay so we have teamwork yeah so what you need to do is that you are going to explain how to make different type of food. So the uh, team number one is going to explain how to make a cup of coffee. Team number two will explain how to make a hamburger. Yeah. Team three will explain how to make a salad. And team four will explain how to make a cup of chocolate. Yeah. So in this case, I will give you a couple of minutes so you can go ahead and work with your team. And let me see, uh, I'm going to create the breakout rooms and I'm going to give you the team number, okay? So let me see. Um, well, I think that, uh, I, I think that the ones that are as oyentes cannot participate, right? But I'm going to assign you to that room, okay? You know, um, uh, who you are, right? All of the ones that are as oyentes, uh, you cannot participate because you are like oyentes, right? So I think that you are busy, but I'm going to assign you to a room. If you can join the room and help your uh, actually teammates, it's okay. If not, you stay here in the main room, okay? So uh, team one, uh, which is Jose Bernardo, Juan Jose, Kenya, Nelly, Pablo, and Wendy, you are going to explain how to make a cup of coffee. And be ready. Once we get here, decide who is the one that is going to present. Okay? And once we are in the main room, please try to be, uh, that is, uh, that, that should be already chosen, right? Then room two, um, Daisy, Eduardo, Jorge, Karen, and Carla, team two. Okay? Room three, uh, Claudia, Emerson, Marianne, Mauricio, and Norma. So you are going to explain how to make a salad. And room four, uh, Marina, Carlos Alberto, Jonathan, Tatiana, and Vladimir, you are going to explain how to make a cup of chocolate. Yeah? So please open the class and let's work, okay? 
So if you have questions, uh, please ask, okay, for help. So here we go. It's like the hamburger must go over that. Yeah. Yes, hamburgers. Okay, comencemos entonces a hacer una. Chocolate, but you made it. Yeah, chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Let me. Boy, boy, the water. Boy, the water, yes. But it's a chocopanda. Or <laughs> yeah. chocolate, how do you say it? Number, number two. Uh, uh, the chocolate. The chocolate. Let me. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, Teacher, I can't share my screen. Give me one second. Give me one second. Yeah, okay. Um there you go. Try now. Yeah, yeah. I can okay. thank you. Perfect. All right. Can you see the the slide? Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's see. I hope to make a cup of chocolate. Mm. Um, I think that you, Vladimir, asked about tablilla, right? So, ah, in okay. English, yeah, we say correct. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right. Number one. Yeah, number one. Paul, the water. Okay, in red. Yeah. Uh, tomato. <laughs> Este, mm -hmm. Yes, I already did. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Um, guys, if you want to share your screen, you you can already actually share it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, hey, teacher. Yes. Yeah. Next, yeah. Uh, or coffee. Yeah, double E. All, uh, let me. Is, is double the L or is double the M? I don't know. Is no, okay, M without N. Oh. Is right. Oh no, without yeah. it. Okay, in a bowl, and then put on the uh, fire on the stove. No, it's, it's like on, a stove. How, how do you say estufa or a cocina? Stove. A stove. Teacher? Stove. Stove. Okay. I uh, yes. Yes, a stove. Okay. Yes. Uh. Wait, wait, boil the water. Wait around how many minutes? Three, three, five minutes. Five mm -hmm. minutes. So boil the water. Are you agree? Yes. Okay. And then Tatiana, Tatiana, you are freeze. After that, put the chocolate bar into the bowl. Yeah, yeah put the chocolate uh, ah, agree this uh la teacher. Yes, I mean, instead of saying, are you agree, we can say, do you, do you agree? Okay, okay do you agree? 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Put the chocolate. No, no, put the uh, agree. Así, picha. No. 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 You correct me about the, the, the expression. Chocolate bar. Chocolate bar. Bar. Bar? Yes. Like this. Yes. Okay. Into the bowl. Yes. Exprimir. Right, fry the meat. Ay, perdón. Este con spread, spread my own bread o mayonesa on bread. Spread, spread, spread. Es con spread, spread. Mayonnaise. Entonces, uh, mayonnaise. Sí. Mayonnaise. On, 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 on bread. On uh, bread. Uh, no, ¿Dónde está, el, ¿Dónde está el pan arriba? Hamburger uh, buns. Este. Ah, ok. Here, here. Voy a poner. Nos faltó un <laughs> Estaría entonces. Sí. 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 no sé. Sí. 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 De ahí el queso, creo que falta. Ajá, cabal. Este es American cheese. Teacher, it's correct. Say place when you. How do you say colocar in English? It's correct. Say please. No. no, you can uh, say add. Add. Yes. Add. Add is the best way to say uh, place in, in when we are talking about food. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and then... I think the owner is then that 
चीज और यही चीज ये अमेरिकन चीज आना सर ये स्टेप नहीं अमेरिकन चीज पूरे द फाइनली द द लास्ट ब्रेड पूरे द लास्ट ब्रेड ऐसे बोन्स Oh, so, yeah, finish <laughs> in step eleven. Eat. No. Okay, you're done? Yes. Okay. All right, so let me call you back, okay, to the main room. Okay. I know. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Bye. Okay, so let's see. And... Okay, guys. So let me let me call Team One. Let me see if Team One is here. No, no, yet. They are coming. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Mm -mm. They are not here. Okay, so but we're going to start with Team Two, maybe. Yes, we have uh, Team Two: Daisy, Eduardo, George, Karen, and Carla. Yes, team two. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, explain how to make hamburgers. Okay. Step one, buy the ingredients. Tomatoes, meat, let's American cheese, made ketchup and onion mm -hmm. for their partner. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Okay. ST2 was the vegetable, ST3 fry the meat, ST4 ST spray mayonnaise on bread. Step five, pot juice. Step six, <laughs> add tomato. Step seven, pot onion. Step eight, add the meat. Step nine, add American cheese. And finally, step 10, put the last bombs. Okay, thank you, Carla. Now, repeat after me and say uh, lettuce. Letters. 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 Now say mayonnaise. Mail. Mayonnaise. Mail. Okay. Now can you please say put? Put. Yes. And now say um vegetable. Vegetable. <laughs> vegetable. Vegetable. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Team one. In this case, team one, please. Uh, Jose, Juan, Kenya, Nelly, and Pablo. Hmm? 
¿La pones ahí, Ariel? No, me lleno, por si. Estudiamos. Ok. Ok. We're going to share with you how to make a cup of coffee. Uh -huh. First, boil some water. Next, add some spoonful of coffee powder. Uh -huh. uh, step three, add one spoonful of sugar. And this is optional. Uh -huh. uh, step four, pour the hot water. Uh -huh. Number five, mixed ingredients. Yeah. Add cream if you like. And enjoy your coffee with your favorite bread. Okay, perfect. All right, I think that that seems delicious. Okay, thank you, Jose. All right, team three, can you please, uh, let me see, explain how to prepare a, a salad. All right, so team three, Claudia, Emerson, Maria, Mauricio, Norma, and Wendy. I explain. Okay. The fourteen num number three, mm -hmm. uh, make a salad. Yes. Uh, the first, uh, collect the ingredient and wash. Okay. Uh, uh, tomato slice. Okay. Lettuce cut. Okay. Slice so, onion. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, cucumber slide, radish slide, carrot slide, and squeeze lemon, uh -huh. spring the salt, include uh, mayo, uh -huh. and ranch. Bon appetit. <laughs> okay. All right, Maurice. Bon appetit. So in this case, um, instead of saying I mean, um, ok, so, eh, me dijo el ingrediente primero y después el verbo. Tiene que ir primero el verbo uh, y después el ingrediente. Ok. okay? okay. All right. Verbo primero, eh, pues, yes, yes, fix that. Okay? Yeah, okay. thank you. All right, so let me see. Uh, team 4, Marina, Carlos Alberto, Jonathan Roberto, y Tatiana Ivo. Okay, Vladimir. Okay, how to make a cup of chocolate. Pour the water into the bowl and then put on the stove. To wait around three and five minutes to boil the water. Put the chocolate bar into the bowl. After that, to add one quarter liter of milk. Stir the chocolate with milk, mm -hmm. pour the chocolate into the cup, into a cup. Mm -hmm. If you want to came to a marshmallow, enjoy. Okay, it's thank you, Blanche. Yes, mm -hmm. it seems very delicious. Okay, observations, all right? Um, all right, first of all, guys, uh, on number two, let's erase two, remove two. Yes, and just, yeah, excellent. Okay, then um, the last observation that I have is number seven. Uh, what it says, if you want, you can add. You can to add, no, okay? You can add. It, it is the modal verb plus the verb, okay? Never mm -hmm. two in the middle, never, 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 okay? Now, uh, guys, if you want to say, um, Tablilla de chocolate, right? Because that's the name that we actually say in Spanish, una tablilla o dos tablillas, right? So what we say is actually a chocolate bar, okay? Okay, One teacher. Chocolate bar, two chocolate, okay. Excellent. Two chocolate bar. Two chocolate bars. <laughs> yes, perfect, okay? Thank you, very good job. Thank you, guys. All right, so right now I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance. Please uh, say present once you hear your name. And here we go. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia. Claudia. 
Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Daisy. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Eduardo. Present teacher. Present. Present okay. teacher. Okay. Eh, let me see. Who said present before? I think that Daisy. Okay. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, Miss. Thank you. Eh, Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present teacher. Yes. Jose Bernardo López. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Janet Granados. Present. Yes. Carla Sofía Argueta. Yes. Present. Yeah, I saw you. Um, Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Mariam Scarlett Rodriguez. Marian. Um, Marina Jensen Sandoval. Marina. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Okay. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Present. Thank you. Norma Patricia. Yeah, it's so normal. Yeah. Eh, Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present. Tatiana Ivon Torres. Present, Miss. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Good evening, teacher. Present. All right. Thank you. Jonathan Roberto Garcia. Present. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I saw Norma. Okay. Let me see. Um, the only one that I don't see. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right, guys. Let's continue. Okay. Let's continue. And all right. So now let's move, okay? And let's talk about right now the book, all right? Let's move to the book. Okay, so we're going to start with unit number two. And the first thing that I'm going to ask you is the following. Do you consider that procedures in a restaurant uh, are important? Yes or no? Procedures in a restaurant. In yes. a hotel? Okay. Yes. Okay. Why? Yes. Why um, are they important? Why? Mm -hmm. You say customers' experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Whenever you go to a restaurant and you find that they are not following the procedures, does this affect you or no? Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of procedures? Procedures mean Procedimiento. procedimientos. Yes, right? Exactly. So do you think that procedures are important in a restaurant? Absolutely, they are. Absolutely. They are. Um, is a customer experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Of course, because if they do not follow the procedures, then you cannot have probably the correct customer service. You cannot have, um, I would say, your food in the proper way, right? Probably you can pay more than you needed to. Yeah, so procedures are important, not only in restaurants, right? In everything. So let's number the steps a waiter follows to take and serve an order. So as you can see, we have different um, expressions, right? Different steps in this case. What we need to do is that we need to uh, order them in the, uh, in the proper way that we need to follow, all right? Those uh, steps, those procedures, yeah? So uh, what do you think is a step number one for a waiter to follow, to take and serve an order? What do you think is the first step? Write the customer. Okay, very the good. Fish. 
Yes. So number one is going to be, repeat after me, Morris, and say, greet the, greet cost the customer. Perfect. So number one is greet the customer. Excellent. What about number two? I think uh, sit the customer. Excellent. Okay. So it is sit the customer. Perfect, Morris. What about number three? What is the step number three? Take, take customer order. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That is correct. So take customer's order. That is a step three. What about number four? Confirm mm -hmm. the order. Perfect. So that is confirm the order. Okay. Confirm the order. Yeah. Perfect. And number five. Serve the food. Serve the food? Mm, not exactly. Handle the food correct. Yes, handle the food correctly. Okay. Handle. Handle the food correctly. And the last step is serve the food. Okay. Yes. Okay. Greet the customer is important because in that way you feel welcome. When you go to a restaurant, you feel appreciated if somebody say, hey, good morning, right? Good evening, good afternoon, come in, okay? Really important. That is uh, your first experience, right? Whenever you go to a restaurant, greet the customer, right? What about number two? Seat the customer, right? That's why they ask, right? A table for two, for three, for four, and you say, yeah, just for two, just for four. I don't know. Okay. Then they take your order. Mm -hmm. Then they confirm the order, right? Is uh, whenever they actually retell what you have ordered, right? Mm -hmm. Number five, handle the food correctly. That is crucial. Right. And then number six, serve the food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, um, actually, there is a variety of procedures going on in different areas of a restaurant, right? There are many procedures. It depends on the area, right? We are talking about waiters right now mm -hmm. so let's continue and let's um actually we need to use our dictionary okay and look for the meaning of the words below so in this case i need your help can you please give me a synonym for handle what do you think handle is what is handle Como llevar, manipular, controlar. Excellent. Now in English, give me a synonym in English. Manage. Manage. All right. Carry. Carry. Perfect. Uh -huh. Excellent. Now, can you please uh, give me a synonym for confirm? Like uh, accept. Okay. Accept. Perfect. Verify. Verify. Perfect. What else? Mm -hmm. There is another one. Uh, there is another uh, verb, which is, oh, let me see. This one. Oh. All right, this one, acknowledge. And you can find that word in many, um, uh, in many, what? In many procedures, right? Uh, on books, acknowledge. Acknowledge the customer's order, right? Acknowledge the client's uh, order, etc. What about payment? Give me a synonym for payment. 
To pay the service. To pay the service. Okay, what else? A synonym payment. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? What comes to your mind when you hear payment? Yeah. No? Give me the bill. Okay, bill, yes. Mm -hmm. To give money, right? Mm -hmm. Transaction. Right. Yes. Okay. Um, money paid. Right. Etc. Uh, greeting. Give me a synonym of greeting. What is greeting? Welcome. Yes. Right. It's a welcome. Correct. Is a welcome. And notify. What is the meaning of notify? Mm -hmm. Notify. Okay. Um, okay. Could be. What else? Inform. Inform. Communicate. Tell. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. All right, excellent. Let's move, All right? Let's move. And now this is going to be here, okay? We're not going to move to any uh, breakout room. So I'm going to ask you, yeah? Which of the following are the most common issues with, with the service that you have experienced in a restaurant, okay? Which are the common issues, the common uh, actually uh, problems, right? Inconveniences that you have encountered. So do you think establishing a procedure could help reduce those issues? Yes or no? And we have a couple of options right here, yeah? So it says that um, common issues in restaurants could be, number one, the waiter gets you food you did not ask for. Yes. Number two, the food takes too long to be served after ordering it. That one is common in some places. The waiter is not polite, common in our country. The dish you want to order is not available, but it appears listed in the menu as well is common. Yeah, the dish in the menu differs differs from the actual dish the waiter brings to the table. Yes. Okay. Uh, whenever you see something on the picture and then when you get to the place, right? So you see something different, right? Mm -hmm. So what are the most common issues with the service here in our country? What do you think? The food takes too long to be served after the ordering. Yes. That one is really common, right? Yeah. Pronunciation of this one, served. Okay. Yes. But it is correct, right? The food takes too long to be served after ordering it. What else? Sometimes the dish you want to order is not available but it appears listed in the menu. Yes, and that is really, I would say, um, uncomfortable sometimes, right? That you probably say, I would like to order this. Oh, sorry, but that is not available. Okay, so bring me this. Uh, that one is not available either, right? And we are like, okay. Mm -hmm. It happens a lot. Mm -hmm. Somebody else? No, you have not experienced any type of um, probably issue with the service? 
Okay, let me ask. Okay. The waiter get your food, you did not ask for. Oh, uh, yeah. The incorrect it's orders. It's yeah. Yeah. That, that one is really common. Yeah, that is correct. Yes. Um, what about you, George? What type of issues have you encountered? The most common is the dish you want to order is not available, but it happens listening the menu. Yeah, that is that is true. Okay. Um, what about you, Eduardo Franco? I mean the the silver uh, food be letter. So. Okay, the food takes too long, probably, right? Yeah, okay, yes. Okay, all right. Now let's move and let's talk about procedures. Yeah, procedures. What we need to do is that we need to um, choose from A to F and according to the definition, we need to add, okay, in the correct order. But we are going to actually work um, on teams, okay? So you need to actually investigate the definition and you are going to order, yeah, the steps. And once you are done, what you are going to do, you are going to send the order of, um, of those uh, steps or procedures to the WhatsApp group. And you are going to actually add your names, okay? So first of all, you need to learn and study the definition, right? And then you are going to order the steps, okay? That we have right here. In this order, I mean, this one could be letter B, right? Okay. This one, letter C, and in that way, the order, okay? All right, so let me create the breakout rooms again so you can go ahead and work with your classmates. And... Yes. Okay, do you have any question? No, miss. Okay. Okay, do you have any question? I need to share the... The screen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, letter E. Letter okay. E. Porches. Wash your hands and forms with soap. Use a brush to clean under your fingernails and dry. I think that is hand washing, little B. B. Yes, little B. Yes, yes. And the last one is little C, sanitizing. Equipment in the washroom raised and disinfected after each. I think. Yes, sanitizing. 
I don't know if in web I can write the letters here. Mm -hmm. Nope. The second could be the letter F. Second. Cool. Thank you. For everyone's received the story to the relaxing games in the public place to have a E. E. Um. Uh -huh. e, no. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Sí. Perdón, no vi que ella había contestado eso, usted. Ah, uh, for the storage. Ah, uh, hey. For the storage. Este. Ajá. Yo creo que la allí donde puso D es A. ¿A dónde? En... La, la, ah, la, um... primera, la primera es alimentos congelados. Ah, ah no, no, perdón, es de congelación de alimentos, quiere decir. Equipment is watch. Este en la donde puso sí es di Desinfección. Eh, eh, la, la esa de desinfección, eh, Sanity Sin, es eh, la, la última. Ah. 
Ajá, ajá, exacto. Este, Pablo, ¿usted sabe cómo se pronuncia eh, for, for, um, no sé. Vale. What's your hand in for arm? For arm. For arm. A buscar. Esta palabra. Ajá. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia esta? You pronounce it okay. four arms. Four arms. Four arms. Yes. No me equivoqué. Yes. Four arms. Four arms. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And that is actually uh, antebrazos, right? Oh. What uh -huh. you and, and four arms. Uh -huh. With four arms. Sub. Yes. With okay. Sub. Do me a favor, guys, With and four. send your answers to the WhatsApp group. Mande sus respuestas al grupo de WhatsApp y ponen los nombres de los integrantes que están en este grupo. Okay. ¿Quién lo va a hacer? ¿Hola? ¿Quién lo va a enviar? Eh, Usted, compañero. Have the, the oh. screen, teacher. Hola, eh, ajá, un hey. screen. Le, sí, le, le tomo el screen y lo mando si quieren. Okay. Yes. I send. Vaya, Pablo, ¿quién más? <ríe> Pablo. Tatiana en Wendy. Ok, guys, do me a favor and take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group with the names of the team members, ok? With the ones okay. that are here. Thank you. Not in manual, con, with the manual, manual. Teacher, we have a, a question. Yes. Do we have to make this part two? No, not right now. Oh. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, not right now. Okay, and uh, did you finish? Yes, okay, so yes. do me a favor and, and take a screenshot and send your, your answers to the WhatsApp group, okay? And add the names of the team members that are here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So do me a favor, please, and send a screenshot to the WhatsApp group. Okay, with your answers. Yeah, and the name of the team members that are here. Okay, just okay. take the screenshot. Yeah. Teacher, we have a question. Tell me. Yes. Is is necessary put in order this concept or just put the letter here? Just add the letter and like the way that you did it. Okay, thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Juan, are you send a uh, screenshot? Yes. Yes. Okay. I just didn't add names. Yeah. And I didn't send. Okay. Nelly Andrade. Kenya. Inglés corporativo. 
Okay. <laughs> Emerson Ulises. Who else? Me. Ready. Perfect. All right, awesome. Let's go back to the main room and we're going to take the listening quizzes, okay? Okay. So open the, the spreadsheet, okay? Let's go. Okay, guys, so we are going to start, uh, we are going to start taking the quizzes, the listening quizzes, okay, please open the, the links, and if you are on the spreadsheet, open the first quiz, uh, let me get, um, oh, I added, okay, I'm going to, let me see, okay. There you go, that is the first listening quiz. And the passcode is listening. Okay, guys. So that one is the first one. Let me just add the, the other one. So open it and once you are in, let me know so I can start playing the recording. Let's see. Okay. And I'm going to add a step one. Okay. Perfect. All right, guys. So ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, miss. All right. So here we go. I'm going to play it um, two times. If you need an extra time, let me know. Okay. So here we go. And see. Hey, I know you. You're James, right? James Roberts. Amanda? Amanda Brown? Wow, it's been a long time. Yeah. Oh, are you going to the class reunion in two weeks? Uh, I've heard about it, but I'm not sure. Where is it anyway? The reunion is going to be held at the Mountain Country Club across from Park City. Man, that's a nice place. Yeah, so, and what time does it start? I think it starts at six. And how much does it cost? You know, those reunions sometimes are really pricey. Well, it's $20 a ticket. That includes dinner and entertainment. And what kind of entertainment are they going to have? They're going to have a live jazz band and dancing. Well, I'm not interested in dancing. A jazz band? That doesn't sound bad. So, well, who's organizing the event this time? Do you remember Chad Phillips? Oh, yeah. Wasn't he the quarterback on the football team? Right, right. Well, he married Sarah Rogers. Oh, Sarah Rogers? Yeah, and they're in charge of the event. So what do you think? Are you going to go? I don't know. Sarah Roberts? Or Rogers, yeah, yeah. Well, I never really fit into high school, and I was kind of a loner. And to be honest, I remember asking Sarah out on a date, and she turned me down. <laughs> she said, I know, and she said she was sick, and it turned out she went out with someone else that night. And I don't know, this could be a little awkward, don't you think? Well, why don't we go together? Are you sure? Yeah. Well, sure. Um, why not? Um, can I be honest? Yeah. Well, I always thought you were really nice, and uh, I just never had the guts to ask you out. <laughs> well, here's your chance. Well, that sounds great. So, what is your number so I can call you? Okay, it's 435. Wait, hang on. i got to get my phone here. Okay, 435. 923. 923. 60. 
one seven. Okay, six zero one seven. Okay, and where do you live? I only live two blocks south of the old high school. Oh, really? Oh, that's not far at all. Yeah, I, I know where that is. And、uh, well, let me call you a few days before to confirm things. Sounds good. It should be fun. All right. Okay, ready? Or do you need me to play it、uh, an extra time? The second time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Hey, I know you. You're James, right? James Roberts. Amanda. Amanda Brown. Wow, it's been a long time. Yeah. Oh, are you going to the class reunion in two weeks? Uh, I've heard about it, but I'm not sure. Where is it anyway? The reunion is going to be held at the Mountain Country Club across from Park City. Man, that's a nice place. Yeah. So, and what time does it start? I think it starts at six. And how much does it cost? You know, those reunions sometimes are really pricey. Well, it's twenty dollars a ticket. That includes dinner and entertainment. And what kind of entertainment are they going to have? They're going to have a live jazz band and dancing. Well, I'm not interested in dancing. A jazz band? That doesn't sound bad. So, well, who's organizing the event this time? Do you remember Chad Phillips? Ah,、oh, yeah. Wasn't he the quarterback on the football team? Right, right. Well, he married Sarah Rogers. Oh, Sarah Rogers. Yeah, and they're in charge of the event. So, what do you think? Are you gonna go? I don't know, Sarah Roberts or Rogers. Yeah, yeah. Well, I never really fit into high school, and I was kind of a loner. And to be honest, I remember asking Sarah out on a date, and she turned me down. <laughs> she said, "I know," and she said she was sick, and it turned out she went out with someone else that night. And I don't know. This could be a little awkward, don't you think? Well, why don't we go together? Are you sure? Yeah. Well, sure.、Uh, why not? Um, can I be honest? Yeah. Well, I always thought you were really nice, and、uh, I just never had the guts to ask you out. <laughs> well, here's your chance. Well, that sounds great. So, what is your number so I can call you? Okay, it's four three five. Wait, hang on, I gotta get my phone here. Okay, four three five. Nine two three. Nine two three. Six zero one seven. Okay, six zero one seven. Okay, and where do you live? I only live two blocks south of the old high school. Oh, really? Oh, that's not far at all. Yeah, I, I know where that is. And、uh, well, let me call you a few days before to confirm things. Sounds good. It should be fun. All right. Okay. All right. And yeah, submit your answers. Okay. And、let me check the scores. Okay, I got Carlos, Jose, Morris, Nelly. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Um, let's take the second one. Okay. Oh, you didn't get it. Okay. All right. So let's take the second one. Make make sure you you get the link and let me know. Okay. So that one is the second quiz. Okay. Don't worry, Jonathan. Okay. But please take the second one. Let me know if you get the second one. Okay. The second one. Yes, I get it. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Okay, guys. Let's take the second one. Okay. Okay. Same thing, right? If you need、uh, an extra time, let me know. I'm going to play it twice. Okay. Um. Ready? Yes. Okay. Here we go. Hey, this is Bill. I'm sorry, I'm not in. Just leave a message. 
Hey, Bill, this is Hank. I'm just calling to let you know that I'll be a little late to the game tomorrow night. I have to work a few extra hours to finish a report. I should wrap things up sometime between 7 and 8, though. Oh, and then I'm planning on dropping by Lisa's house for about an hour since she's been sick recently. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. I'll swing by my house to pick up some food for the game. See you then. Okay, so here we go with the second time, okay? Let me just, yeah. Hey, this is Bill. I'm sorry I'm not in. Just leave a message. Hey, Bill, this is Hank. I'm just calling to let you know that I'll be a little late to the game tomorrow night. I have to work a few extra hours to finish a report. I should wrap things up sometime between 7 and 8, though. Oh, and then I'm planning on dropping by Lisa's house for about an hour since she's been sick recently. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. I'll swing by my house to pick up some food for the game. See you then. Okay. Um, do you need the extra sign? Yes. The extra sign? Yes. yes. Here we go. Hey, Bill, this is Hank. I'm just calling to let you know that I'll be a little late to the game tomorrow night. I have to work a few extra hours to finish a report. I should wrap things up sometime between 7 and 8, though. Oh, and then I'm planning on dropping by Lisa's house for about an hour since she's been sick recently. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. I'll swing by my house to pick up some food for the game. See you then. Okay. Ready or not ready? No, okay, I'm going to play it once again, okay? The last time. This one, yes, it's the last time. Hey, this is Bill. I'm sorry I'm not in. Just leave a message. Hey, Bill, this is Hank. I'm just calling to let you know that I'll be a little late to the game tomorrow night. I have to work a few extra hours to finish a report. I should wrap things up sometime between 7 and 8, though. Oh, and then I'm planning on dropping by Lisa's house for about an hour since she's been sick recently. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. I'll swing by my house to pick up some food for the game. See you then. Okay. Now, yes, guys. Uh, submit your answers, okay? Okay. I can see that. Okay. You, okay. Some of you got 100, okay? Um, okay. Some of you got 80. Okay. All right. So I think that this one was kind of difficult because it was really fast, right? Yes. And probably the, um, and see, yeah, actually it was kind of fast, but don't worry. Okay. So let's continue guys. Let's move and we're going to move to speaking time, okay? We're going to practice for around 10, yeah, 10 to um, 12 minutes, all right? Let's speak in, yeah? We are going to practice with those questions, yeah? Um, what kind of food can we find in El Salvador, okay? Explain, okay, how pupusas are made. I would like to know. Yeah, explain how enchiladas, right, are made in the country. Okay, if you know, right, if not, it's okay, but let's try to explain. Then, how often do you cook? Are you good at cooking? Yes or no? Okay, what are some things that you can cook? Yeah, and what is the hardest thing to cook for you? Yeah, and so on. So we are going to continue with the speaking. So um, please open the class. All right, open the class. And I'm going to create uh, seven rooms, okay? Let's move.
identify in, in El Salvador? Jonathan? Pupusas, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pupusas, definitely. Uh, I don't know what is, what is the, the meaning at all, but uh, at all chuco. Uh, I don't know, but it's a, a, a many kind of, of typical food, I think. <clears throat> I think. Mm -hmm. Wendy? What is the actor de lote? Actor de lote. ¿Cómo se dice? Ay. Tortitas de lote. <laughs> <laughs> Riwas. Riwas. Es chuco. Chuco, ya. Yeah. Ah. Um. Oleadas. Nuegados. 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 Uh, sí. The next month. Peine. Peine. Se dice. Um. Ya le digo. Chilate. Qué <laughs> lindo. Yeah. What is chilate? <laughs> what? Really? What? Mama? What is chilate? <laughs> no le entendí, Carlita. Are you Salvadorian, Carla? ¿Qué <laughs> <laughs> dice, Carlita? Es chilate. <laughs> es chilate de maíz. Así como hacen el chilate aquí es de con, con pimienta gorda, con canela y es de maíz. Es como el, el atol rosado que hace en San Miguel. Lo único que ah. es un poquito saladito. Ese es saladito el que hacen en San Miguel. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad que sí? Ya. Yeah. Aquí, aquí le dan otro sabor, Carlita. Ah, oh. Pero okay. se parece que es, es similar a la rosado de San Miguel. Y a mí ese sí no me gusta. <risa> ok. <risa> es, como, es como sería un pupusas con mayonesa. Y, y esa, 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 esa. Eso no me gusta. Eso no me gusta a mí aquí. Sometimes, but... Ok. Sometimes. I... ¿Cómo es? I like the... Y de pupusa only. Only pupusa. <laughs> ok. Ok. Number two, explain how pupusa are made. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> ok. Uh, What's the meaning of the masa? Miss? How do you say? Oh, sorry. How do you say? Dough. Dough. Yes, dough. Ah, ya lo entendí. Okay. Dough. Dough. Yeah. Um, dough de... Make, make a dough, algo así. Yeah, how to, pre to prepare. Yeah. Mm, to prepare. prepare the dough. Because... Uh, could be a um, a corn dough or a rice dough. I, I think <laughs> I don't know. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then. <laughs> and then. Um, um, uh, take a <laughs> take. I Second, mix, mix the ingredient, <laughs> mix yeah. pinks, cheese, in explain how English. 
Hello, guys. Are you practicing? Okay. Yes, teacher. It's yes. Hard. Okay, I think that uh, George, uh, Carlos, Vladimir, in Kenya, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Right. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. So you all are practicing, right? We practice uh, explain how pupusas are made. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, uh, the, the orb, the picture you should explain. Okay. When the, when the, uh, the food, mm -hmm. the food salvadori. Mm -hmm. Salvadorian food? Enchilada. Salvadorian food, we mm -hmm. explain enchilada. Mm -hmm. Only this? Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. let me see. Okay, compañeros, hagamos la enchilada. Okay. The first. Okay, so let me see. Take a mash. Dice masa es mash. Uh, no, it, it should be dough. 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 Um, yeah, Dough. like this. Yes, like this. Okay, let me see, guys. I'm going ah, to frame uh -huh. breaker. Okay. Yes. Um, Thank you. Okay. Let me see. Jose. Okay. Dough. Yes. Dough. Okay. Dough. Let me see. Then, Carlos. Uh, freír. Yes. Uh -huh. Fry. 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 No. Yes. Fry. La tortilla. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is after. With Mm-hmm. cinco um, minutos. How do you say después de cinco minutos? What do you think, Maurice? yo y a freír las tortillas. Okay, so after five minutes. Uh, after five minutes. Mm -hmm. Five minutes. And prepare uh, tomato. Eh, Sauce. De, po de pollo es co. co, co. Eh, no. Oh. So, repollo lo puede decir, um, se lo voy a mandar escrito, ok? But it, it should be cabbage. Vale. Pero se lo voy a, se lo voy a mandar aquí. Bye. Ah, uh, cabbage. Yeah, cabbage. Mm -hmm. Raban. With radish. Correct. Radish. Yes, like rabbit. Mm -hmm. And a sprinkle salt. Mm -hmm. Um, and a little, what do you say, salsa? Sauce. 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 Mm -hmm. And for me, ready. Ok, 
Okay. So let's see. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, so let me see. Um, okay, I, I don't know if you're right there, but okay. So Emerson, how often do you cook? I often, I usually one time for for a week. Okay, once a week. Once. And, a week. Okay, and um, are you good at cooking? Uh, I think uh, I think I can I can do it more or less. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, Emerson. What about you, Juan Jose? How often do you cook? I I never cook. You it's, never cook? No, I can't do that. I try. I try sometimes, okay. but I can't do that. <laughs> okay, got it, Jose. Okay. And you, Jose? Can you cook? Uh, me? Yes. Um. Uh, I think my food can be eaten. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but how often do you do it? Uh, once or two times a week. Okay, all right. And you, Carla, how often do you cook? I think three times a week, but only survive. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Okay, what about you, Wendy? How often do you cook? Uh, chicken. Oh, but how often? How often? Uh, okay. Okay, but, okay, Wendy, but how often do you cook? Once a week, two times a week, never, usually, sometimes. Usually. Usually. And you, Nelly? Nelly, what about you? How often do you cook? Um, <laughs> I hardly ever. <laughs> hardly ever. Okay. All right. Maybe, maybe, maybe sometimes I just prepare something, mm -hmm. but I hardly ever cook. Got it. Okay, Nelly. And you, Eduardo, are you good at cooking? Yes, I, I love cook. Um, usually, I love cook. usually cook. Yes. You usually cook? Yes. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. I am, good, I, I am good cook. I am good cook. Oh, okay. I am good <laughs> at cooking. At, cook, at cooking. At cooking. Yeah, at cooking. Mm hmm Okay, guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Okay, thank you very much for being responsible and connecting today. I'll see you back tomorrow. I hope you have a great night. Try to rest. And the only person that please stay with me, Jose. All right, then the other ones, have a good night. Take care, guys. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. See you. See you, guys. See you. All right, so Jose, we are going to have our feedback, okay? Well, this short time is for us to um, actually uh, know you better, okay? Because we would like to know about you and I would like to know about Jose, okay? I would like to know about your, um, I would say your, the years that you have been learning English, right? Where have you learned uh, English? if this is the first time that you are learning with us, or if you have uh, taken the previous modules with us, right, English Corporativo, or if you have actually taken some classes um, in a different place. And I would like to know, what do you think about our classes as well? Okay, but first of all, okay. tell me about your background in the English language. Okay, I know, I knew the the language when I was uh, 16, I, if I don't remember, uh, but I just learned by myself. 
and okay. with a dictionary and asking with a friend that he he learned the english at mm -hmm. the us okay after that when i was 18 i went to the university mm -hmm. but with a, a curso uh probably with a course of course but i didn't i couldn't finish okay. and the in 2019 okay. i started to study with english comparativo but okay. because of the pandemia pandemic? I, pandemic i couldn't finish and i started last year again got it all right okay so okay and then uh let me ask you about our classes right so what do you think about our classes right uh, do you like the dynamic of the class what can you tell me um about well just this first week that we have spent together and well taking into account today as well right so what do you think about our classes this module right i am very happy and in this module is the first time we had a uh, a full speaking and listening and i feel very comfortable with that okay perfect all right so now um what about with the speaking practices when you go to the breakout rooms how do you feel with your classmates right um, do you feel comfortable is there any observation or something i when i go to the rooms i feel my partners more uh comfortable and they discuss too much then the last levels okay. they talk more they are more uh, comprometidos uh, committed committed they are more committed with with the team okay and were you were you all together in the previous modules no oh no no we, I, I have new partners. Okay, all right, great. Okay, so I really like that you actually um, see your classmates in that way, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let me ask you, what do you think is the most difficult area for you in the English language? What do you think is the most difficult area to master? For me, it's the hearing. Really? Yeah, because... Uh, people pronounce different mm -hmm. so it's the, not all the people uh, model the mouth the same uh, some people open more than other yes. and some como barridos okay all right yes that is correct everybody as you have said everybody has uh, their own i would say uh, pronunciation right and the way that they speak sometimes they do open their mouth and sometimes they do not do it and yes there is a variety of accents as well right so um very good i think that you know, um, in this module, at least in, in my module, right, the intermediate one, so we are going to continue practicing with the listenings, right, uh, with the grammar pieces, uh, we are going to have reading exams as well. So I think that those quizzes are going to help you a lot, right, because um, you are going to practice. So, but let me ask you, what are you doing besides our classes to improve your listening skills? I started to watch my, the videos uh, on English with sub, subtitles. Subtitles? Subtitles. And I download an application to okay. speak. That corrects me with my uh, pronunciation. Perfect. All right. So I can see that uh, you like the English language, right? Because if you didn't like it, I think that you wouldn't be here. But now let me ask you, what is the main purpose of you studying the language? Is this just because you like it or do you have any type of goal? When I started to, to learn, it just was because I like it, but... Mm -hmm. Now I want to get a better job. 
Okay. Yes. All right. So I think that um, with the English language, you know, we can have better opportunities, of course, right? So I'm really happy because I can see that you like the English language, right? And, and I can see that because I see you that you participate whenever you can, right? And I and I have noticed that sometimes probably you know the answer, but you, you probably um, think, okay, so maybe other ones should participate as well, right? And I can see that uh, sometimes you know the answer, but you uh, like wait for the other ones, right, to participate, and that is good. Now, um, Jose, probably what I can tell you is that I would like you to participate even more, right? Even though sometimes probably I know that sometimes you um, you have noticed that maybe the other classmates, right, do not participate as much as you, right? So, but I mean, it doesn't matter. What really matters is that you participate, right? Because I really want you to focus on improve, improving, right? Because that's the main goal for us. And at the end of this module, what I want you to actually have in mind is that, okay, at least I, I learned, right? I, I could improve this and that, right? And how are you going to improve speaking? How are you going to improve listening, right? And, and all of those areas, participating right whenever you have questions ask ask questions right because um i'm here for you right because i want you to learn i want you to improve right and even though sometimes it could be hard because of course we are like coming from different uh modules from different levels from different ways of teaching right so and now that we are probably creating those practices as you mentioned before it could be kind of different Right, but at the end, what really really matters is that you learn and that you participate. Probably my observation and my feedback for you is that right that I want you to participate whenever you have the opportunity during the class. Try to do it. Right, do not like um, hesitate on doing it because I think that that is the only way on how you are going to improve. And well, I think that you are really um, I would say proactive because you participate right a lot and you are really responsible so thank you very much for connecting every single class right and be focused on the class okay okay teacher yeah i don't know if you have any question mm, no right now i don't have a question all right so uh the last question i'm going to ask you do you have any issues or something uh with the platform have you encountered any type of probably issue with the platform, with your homework? No? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, perfect. And are you uh, developing all of the assignments? Uh, yeah, the first week, yes. Okay, perfect. All right, Jose, that's pretty much all right. Um, then if you have any questions, if something is not clear, please let me know. All right? Okay, okay. Perfect. Thank you. So I'll see you back tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care. Night teacher, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay.